Space is full of mysteries, but few objects raise as many questions as black holes. They remain some of the most terrifying and captivating phenomena in the universe, bottomless voids in the fabric of reality where even light disappears. Their gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, and they represent the boundary of knowledge, behind which lie the laws of physics still beyond our understanding. But what if black holes are not just destroyers of matter, but something more? The more we learn about them, the more questions arise. Can black holes store information? Are they bridges to other realities? Or perhaps, within their depths, lies the answer to the ultimate question about the nature of time. If you're interested in the most thrilling mysteries of the cosmos and want to learn more about the nature of black holes, don't forget to follow and like. There are more fascinating discoveries ahead about the universe, which hides its greatest secrets from us. A black hole is a region in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. The boundary of this region is called the event horizon, and its size is determined by the gravitational radius. When a black hole forms, it begins to absorb the remnants of a star, and an accretion disk forms around it. However, it cannot immediately consume all the matter. Part of the material is ejected back into space at speeds close to the speed of light. And along with this, powerful gamma rays burst from the black hole. These bursts are incredibly bright, millions of times more powerful than a typical supernova explosion. A black hole does not have a solid or gaseous form, but it is capable of distorting space and time itself. Near the event horizon, time loses its usual meaning and can move in different directions. The fabric of space-time is curved so much that Light entering the black hole doesn't vanish without a trace. Its mass is added to the mass of the singularity, making the black hole even more powerful. The gravity in these areas is millions of times stronger than Earth's, creating points of no return. The concept of black holes was proposed by the German scientist Karl Schwarzschild, who calculated that such an object could form if a sufficiently massive body were compressed to its gravitational radius. The laws of physics that apply on Earth lose their meaning at the event horizon. So from a mathematical standpoint, it is impossible to look inside a black hole and understand what is happening beyond it. What types of black holes exist and which one is the most common in the universe? They come in several types and each of them remains a mystery for science. The most common are stellar mass black holes, which form after the collapse of massive stars. There are millions of them in the Milky Way, and although they are relatively small, their gravity is so strong that they absorb surrounding matter, heating it to millions of degrees and emitting powerful X-rays. Supermassive black holes are true giants, with masses reaching billions of solar masses. They are found at the centers of galaxies and continue to grow by absorbing surrounding gas and even stars. Their origin remains a mystery, but they may have formed as a result of the merging of many smaller black holes or the collapse of huge gas clouds. Intermediate black holes may exist between these two classes, but their existence has not yet been proven. Astronomers have detected a few suspicious objects, such as HLX-1, which may weigh between 500 and 20,000 solar masses, but no definitive confirmations have been made so far. There are also hypothetical Planck black holes, tiny objects with extremely high density, which could explain the nature of dark matter. However, their existence remains purely theoretical. What happens inside black holes during their mergers? Why does the new black hole formed after the merger have a smaller mass than the sum of the masses of the two original black holes? And what does this tell us about the nature of matter and energy itself? One of the most striking phenomena in the universe is the collision and merger of black holes. These mysterious objects can merge to form a new black hole, but the exact mechanism of this process remains poorly understood. As black holes approach each other, 
They lose orbital energy by interacting with their surroundings, stars, gas, and other cosmic objects. This interaction causes them to rotate around each other and is accompanied by powerful gravitational wave emissions which carry away energy from the system, accelerating its evolution and bringing the moment of merger closer. However, there is the so-called last parsec problem. Models show that at a distance of about one parsec, black holes cannot continue to approach each other quickly due to a lack of energy and matter. Gravitational waves at this distance are too weak and the merging process can stretch out over billions of years. But over time, as the black holes get close enough, their gravitational waves begin to effectively drain energy, speeding up the final stage of the merger. When the distance between them becomes critically small, their event horizons distort and merge, forming a new black hole. One of the mysteries of this process is that the mass of the newly formed black hole is less than the sum of the masses of the original objects. Astrophysicists suggest that the missing mass is converted into an enormous amount of energy emitted in the form of gravitational waves, which is equivalent to converting several solar masses into pure energy. This makes black hole mergers one of the most powerful phenomena in the universe. Could white holes exist? And what traces might they leave in space if they ever appear? If a white hole is the opposite of a black hole, can it be considered a gateway to other parts of the universe or even to other universes? A white hole is a hypothetical cosmic object into which nothing can enter. It is considered a temporal opposite of a black hole and is described by the same equations of general relativity. However, most scientists believe that such structures cannot exist in reality due to the instability of the solutions to Einstein's equations when space-time is disturbed. The concept of white holes was proposed by I. D. Novikov in 1964 and later developed by N. S. Kardashev. In 1976, Stephen Hawking studied this phenomenon, suggesting that it could occur if matter contained within a black hole were to exit its boundaries, moving in the opposite direction of the thermodynamic arrow of time. According to this concept, both types of objects could coexist within the full space-time continuum, but any individual object representing only one of these sides would not be able to exist. To this day, there is no known astronomical body that can be confidently classified as a white hole, and no reliable theories explain the mechanism of their formation. Unlike black holes, which can be observed, for example, in the cores of massive spiral galaxies, no reliable methods have been developed to search for their counterparts. Some hypotheses link white holes to mysterious cosmic phenomena, such as the gamma ray burst, GRB 060614, observed in 2006. Israeli astronomers Alon Retter and Shlomo Heller suggest that this event could have been caused by this phenomenon. Retter also proposes that such objects disappear almost immediately after their appearance, a process that could be called a minor explosion, similar in some ways to the Big Bang. Could the instability of a white hole mean that wormholes instantly disappear, leaving behind traces we simply don't know how to recognize. If an artificial wormhole were ever created, what technologies and energies would be needed for that? According to the theory proposed by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, creating a wormhole requires connecting a black hole with its mirror counterpart, a white hole. Black holes do not release anything, while white holes, in contrast, prevent anything from entering. Therefore, to form a tunnel in the space-time continuum, the singularities of these objects need to be connected. However, calculations show that such a structure would be extremely unstable. The internal forces and instability of the white hole would lead to its destruction almost immediately after formation. French physicist Pascal Coirand, while studying particle movement in a hypothetical wormhole, used the Eddington-Finkelstein metric instead of the Schwarzschild metric. This method allowed him to trace the trajectory of a particle inside the wormhole and demonstrate that it could cross the event horizon and traverse the tunnel without disruption. This result supports the idea of a stable transition through a wormhole within the framework of general relativity. 
black holes remain some of the most mysterious objects in the universe, posing numerous questions about the nature of space, time, and matter. Their role goes far beyond being mere destroyers. They may hold information, be connected to wormholes, or even open new horizons in our understanding of the universe. Science continues to explore these fascinating objects, uncovering new secrets related to their origins, mergers, and potential connection to hypothetical white holes. Each new discovery brings us closer to answers to questions that once seemed impossible. Want to learn more about black holes, the mysteries of space, and the latest scientific discoveries? Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more incredible revelations.